Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm going to share with you something that happened to me recently. I got a Chalazian. I'm going to share with you what it is. I want to let you know how I got it. I know how I got it and how I treated it. Toward the end of the video, I'm just going to have a little chit chat. I'm going to announce the winner of my secret giveaway and the winner of my last giveaway for two people in the last video I did. A couple of weeks ago, I noticed I had a hard knot under my eyelid right here on the bottom eyelid, and it came up rather quickly. For five days in a row, every day it got bigger and bigger. And I'll put a picture somewhere up here of what it looked like. It was impeding my vision. I could see it when I looked down. So I did call my eye doctor, but I want to tell you what a chalazion is. It isn't a sty. It's formed around the eye, and it really is an obstructed duct of some sort. This, a sty is usually on the upper or, or lower waterline, and a chalazion is usually around the eye, and it's usually not an infection. But since mine was growing so quickly, I did make an appointment to see my eye doctor, and I called, and they got me in that day. Even though it was not infected, it was swollen, and my doctor wanted me to go on five days of an antibiotic, and I don't know when the last time I'd been on an antibiotic was, but I, I did. And also, she wanted me to use a warm pack on my eye, and I just thought I'd share with you what I used and how wonderfully it worked. I didn't have any rice in the house, and Jim went to the store. He was going to pick up groceries, so he picked up some long grain rice, not the minute rice. I don't know if the minute rice would work or not. And I just put it in a clean old sock, put it on a plate, microwaved it for 40 seconds. And when the microwave went off, I got another sock and I just put this inside it. And you don't, you want to be able to move this around because this will probably last about 15 minutes. And that's, you wanna make sure that you move the rice around, you shake it around, because you want to distribute the heat throughout the pack. And then I just placed it on my eye for 20 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes, and I did that three or four times a day. And that really did help. But it'll work for any area of your body. You can make a long sock for back pain or, you know, hip pain or whatever. And, and it does usually stay warm at least 15 minutes. So if you need warm, and it, it almost feels moist. If you need a warm pack on something, and, and you can also freeze these, and, and it will work as a cold pack. So really, a chalazion is a blocked gland, and a sty is a, an infected gland or hair follicle. And chalaziums usually last about two to three weeks, and, and they, it is reabsorbed, and it's all good. Now I want to tell you how I got it. You know, when I, I have a couple of ways I cleanse my face at night. If I don't have on much makeup like today, I have on mascara, powder, foundation, blush, and lipstick. So this evening when I go wash my face, I will take my Purity Made Simple, put a small amount in my, in my, in the palm of my hand. I wet my face first before I do that. And then I take it and I'll, I'll put it on my eyelashes and then I pat the rest on my face and I work it in and I splash it off and my face is clean and my eyes aren't burnt. And if I have on more makeup, I usually, I will take my magic eraser cloth. That's the first thing I do. I go in and I get my makeup off and then I cleanse with purity. Well, I have another cleanser that I like that I was using and what I did, I forgot and I, you know, I got my face wet. I put it in my palm of my hand rubbed it in my eyes and then around my face and I really really aggravated this eye in particular and so like for the next two days it was swollen it was red and I know what happened the inflammation caused the duct to close and liquid can you know stayed in there and that's what caused this swelling so I aggravated my eye and uh, I won't do that anymore and I knew it had to be that because I don't put I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't put eyeshadow very seldom. It's been months and months since I've put any eyeshadow or an, and I never use um, pencil eyeliner on my lower waterline. So I knew it was something else that I did. So that was the obvious culprit. 
So that's my Chalazian story. If it helped you, I'm, I'm glad it did. And if you've watched me long enough, you know how particular I am with my eyes. I wash my eye brushes every time I use them. I throw my mascara away after three months. I do everything I can to avoid any type of problems. I have seen many people with eye infections. That's why I usually only have one tube of mascara open. I use one eyeliner in my upper water line. Because if something would happen and I'd get an inflammation or even an infection, I know what the culprits could be. But I thought I'd just share with you how I wash my eye brushes every day and it is just so easy. Whatever eye brushes I use, I put them in a cup right after I've used them in my dressing room. And when I'm done putting on my makeup, I go into my bathroom, take these with me, and what I like to use, and you can use anything, I don't like to use chemical sprays, I just like to use soap and water. And I bought this for my face, it's Shea Moisture African Black Soap. I bought it, like I said, I bought it for my face and it was too harsh for my face, but it is perfect for my brushes. And I just keep it on a little plate. I have one of these soap lifters that are wonderful. and and my soaps on top. When I go into the bathroom, I run this under water. I'll go ahead and do both sides. Just get some good soap on them. I have two of these little scrubbies. One of them is for my face and one of them is for brushes. And I keep this in the cabinet with my brush. And I just go around and around and around and work that soap in and then I rinse it off. And I just lie it flat to dry. Couldn't, it doesn't take two minutes and my eye brushes are always clean. A viewer and a friend of mine, Janet, she left this comment on a video a couple of weeks ago. It's how she can control if she has political ads or not. As soon as this video goes live, I am going to go in and I'm going to paste her instructions in the very first comment. So that way you can have a choice on what ads you want to watch in a video if you want to avoid the political ads. But she said she uses an iPad. I, I do the YouTube Red. So I don't see anybody's ads. So I don't know if it works or not for me on a computer, but she said it works on her iPad. I know I have talked before how much I do not enjoy summer. The high dew point that we have and the high humidity, I just don't feel as good. And when I film a video, I have to turn off my air conditioning. I have to turn off fans and it's just not as comfortable to film. So perhaps, and I don't know, I'm going to try to do my best to upload a video every week, but I might go to every other week through the summer. I'm just going to play it by ear. I have a list of things that I still want to do. One of the things I want to do is I want to show you my quilts. And I am I know how to sit down in front of my phone. <laughs> That's what I use is my phone. And talk, but I'm not good about doing anything else. So. I'm going to try to learn how to get some close-ups of my vintage quilts and uh, I want to do that. I have a list of things that I do I, that I want to talk about. Some of them just aren't very relevant right now in what, in, with everything that's going on, but they will become relevant so I'll, I'll talk about them in another video. In my empties video, I got a lot of questions about Benigma. And just because I like it doesn't mean anybody else will, but I will tell you what I tried to use to replace it, and I would try these items first. I heard about Benigma from Natalie the Beauty Diva, and she used it, and she loved it, and, and I wanted, and of course, I wanted to try it too, because she has gorgeous skin, and she loves skin care. So, so I tried it, and it was the very first moisturizer I used, and I, it just really did wonders for my skin. Then she told me to try Honey Skin. That is one of them I tried. So if I were you and you were looking for a moisturizer, you might want to try some of these other things first. The Honey Skin did not work with my... I have really sensitive skin and I'm very prone to milia. The Honey Skin didn't work for me. The It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream was too thick. The It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion it was like I wasn't putting anything on. And I tried the, I think it was called Vanna Cream. Vano Cream. It was a bee venom mask and I got milia from that. So I had purchased four items to try to take the place and 
so far the Dermatology SPF moisturizer is working. So we'll have to wait and see. But I would try other things before I would spend, I think it's $70 or $60. A jar does last me eight to nine months and my other jar is going to last a lot longer because it's new in the refrigerator. Well, it's three months old, but I always keep it in the refrigerator. I take half of it out. I'm really hoping when it cools down that it'll continue working for me, but my skin feels really good in the morning. A couple of videos ago, I wrote something in my video and just said that if you're still here, uh, re use the word random in your comment and you'll be entered for a $50 e-gift card. Well, I went to Random Comment Picker, loaded my video, and I had it search for the word random and I had 52 people that left comments that used that word. I press the button and the winner is Make Up Fun with Olivia. Congratulations, Olivia. Olivia used to film videos several years ago she quit and she's back and I absolutely enjoy her. And this is the first time in a long time that a YouTube content creator has won one of my giveaways. So Olivia, just make sure you leave a comment below and um, I'll let you know how to get in touch with me and we'll decide what kind of e-gift card you want. Before I announce the winners of the giveaway, I just want to remind you to always seek professional help for any issues that you have. I just shared with you what my doctor recommended for me to do. I want to thank you all for sharing with us what has brought you peace. I loved reading your comments and thank you again for sharing that with us. The first name that popped up as a winner of the $50 e-gift card is Reba Patessi. And I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but you won. And the second winner of a $50 e-gift card is Bree Wells. Congratulations, Reba and Bree. And just make sure you leave a comment below and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. I want to congratulate all the winners and I want to thank you all for watching and for commenting. Um, I appreciate you so much and, and that you support my channel, that you watch me. I, it, it means a lot and it is all good. And I hope you have a blessed day. Take care and I will see you in my next video. To leave her, I did make an, I didn't have any long grain. Oh my gosh. I want to share with you, that's just what I, well, I started, also there's going to be a little shit. Mm.